So we've been following at Sky News uh, the saga for the last few days of who paid for the refurbishment of number 11, Boris Johnson and Carrie Simon, his fiance's private flat. There's been very little information put by them in uh, the public domain. If it comes from a donor, then that could potentially be illegal if those donations weren't properly declared. We've just had a statement from the Electoral Commission. It says, We have been in contact with the Conservative Party since late March and have conducted an assessment of the information they have provided to us. We are now satisfied that there are reasonable grounds to suspect that an offence or offences may have occurred. We will therefore continue this work as a formal investigation to establish whether or not this is the case. The investigation will determine whether any transactions relating to the works on 11 Downing Street fall within the regime regulated by the Commission, and whether such funding was reported as required. We will provide an update. Once the investigation is complete, we will not be commenting further uh, on upon this point. Now, this is all about the £58,000 that the public purse wouldn't meet when it came to uh, the refurbishment of the number 11 flat. Uh, Kerry Simons, Boris Johnson, understood to have used a high-end designer uh, who favours fancy wallpaper. The bills were spiralling. Uh, we know from our reporting, others reporting, uh, that uh, lots of options on how to fund this were considered, uh, including donors, donors contributing to uh, blind trusts. Uh, but the problem for the Prime Minister is that this work took place at the beginning of 2020, and here we are at the end of April 2021, and nothing has appeared in public registers in accordance with the rules. You've got about a month to declare any donations, either uh, people paying you cash directly or giving you services in kind. None of that has appeared on the public purse, and it remains today entirely unclear how the £58,000 uh, has been uh, funded, because we know that while Boris Johnson, we were told last Friday, footed that bill, we also understand he took a loan. It's not clear where that money come from, came from either or who paid the, in the interim between the works being done and the moment when uh, Boris Johnson reimbursed uh, uh, whoever was footing the bill until that point. And, and to be clear, if the Conservative Party or Conservative Party donors paid initially for uh, the uh, renovations or if that wasn't declared, which would actually be the offence? Well, it depends what the Electoral Commission judges as the recipient of the donee, which may well be the Prime Minister himself, because it was his personal redecoration that seems to be at the heart of this issue. Uh, some liability could fall on the Conservative Party uh, themselves if they did not uh, declare donations. There was an email leaked to the Daily Mail last week suggesting that Lord Brownlow, a Tory donor, gave £58,000 to the party for the purposes of setting up this trust. But that doesn't appear, to appear, it doesn't appear anywhere on any public register, and, and we don't know why. Uh, that's the case. Um, so there are a whole slew of questions for all of the actors in this. We also know, because Sky News revealed this last night, that last July, uh, Number 10 officials were in broad all of this, contacting Alistair Darling, trying to set up a trust, but he uh, stayed well away, thinking that there could be something a bit dodgy about it. And, of course, we're not at that stage yet, but what sanctions does the... Uh, Electoral Commission have in its uh, remit? Well, the Electoral Commission, which doesn't have a great track record of actually getting through to either fining or prosecuting uh, uh, individuals or, or parties and, and making those um, uh, stick, uh, has a range of fines and possibly uh, more criminal sanction, but they are very, very rare. And that, that would be used. fining, what, on the parties? Or... Well, we would we wait to see, but um, Boris Johnson is regulated under the, uh, 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 you know, 2000 elections uh, donations rules, and so theoretically it could be him or it could be the party or it could be other individual actors... Uh, depending on what their role was. The, 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 what the Electoral Commission is looking at here is the failure to declare money, and that could be the Conservative Party, it could be Boris Johnson, because of the worries that that could come with an attempt to influence political okay. decision-making, honours lists and stuff and, like and that. And receipt of money to renovate a private flat, would, would that be an offence? Uh, well, um, potentially, if you are in receipt, you know, if a donor paid a contractor uh, to sort of, um, you know, Make your make your flat look nice. That's a donation in kind. Donations need to be recorded uh, within a month, and failure to do so is potentially a criminal offence. So yes, Downing Street all the way along, and the Conservative Party say no laws have been broken.